Greetings and welcome to today's Innovations in Facial Plastic Surgery Update. I'm Dr. DJ Ferret. Today I'd like to talk to you briefly about different facial resurfacing lasers. There are two main lasers used for facial resurfacing, the erbium laser and the carbon dioxide laser. Now these technologies can either be applied in a continuous setting or what is termed a fractional setting. The original lasers to be used for facial resurfacing were carbon dioxide lasers. These tended to ablate an entire area in a continuous formation. They did produce long-term redness, however the results were very good. There were complications associated with them, and in untrained hands they could be a significant problem. The next lasers to be used were erbium lasers. Erbium lasers do not penetrate quite as deeply as the carbon dioxide lasers do, and initial erbium technologies included fractional resurfacing. In fractional resurfacing, instead of a continuous pulse of the laser, the laser will hit a space, skip a spot, hit a space, skip a spot, in much like a checkerboard pattern. In this way, less tissue is damaged and there is more tissue to be able to grow over and rejuvenate the affected area. This technology has recently been applied to carbon dioxide laser resurfacing. In this way, you get the results of the carbon dioxide laser, however, you do not get the downtime. Laser resurfacing is good for both age spots and wrinkles. The erbium technology, while good for, for age spots, is not quite as good for wrinkles, and the opposite is true for carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide lasers, though producing a longer downtime, do work very well for wrinkles. For more information about laser resurfacing and other innovations in facial plastic surgery, please visit my website at www.innovationsfps.com. I'm Dr. DJ Barrett. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.